Hey there, my name is Lisa Bell Castro and I'm so excited to share with you some inexpensive ways to make sports more accessible to athletes with disabilities. For over a decade, I've been working in the adapted sport community as an adapted physical education teacher, volunteer, and advocate. Like many who run adapted sports programs, funding is often limited. Even on a shoestring budget, we must find creative ways to accommodate the needs of every athlete in our program. No one deserves to be left on the sidelines and we're here to make sure that never happens. Text, DIY Adapted Sports Equipment with Lisa Bell Castro. Graphics depict the U.S. flag, and the logos of the Department of State United States of America, Sports Diplomacy, and University of Tennessee Knoxville Center for Sport, Peace and Society a project by the U.S. Department of State Global Sports Mentoring Program. When I first learned that funding for my program was going to be a struggle, I knew I had two choices. Either athletes sitting on the sidelines or get creative. She works with a tape measure and a hacksaw. I chose to take the creative route by exploring ways to build equipment by hand. A man in a wheelchair. Doing so created opportunities for my athletes to participate regardless of their disability. Lisa holds a bow and arrow. In this series of videos, we will look at ways to make soccer, archery, bowling, bocce, resistance training, and even hockey more accessible by building our own equipment. However, the ultimate goal is to leave these videos inspired to create your own equipment that is customized to the individual strengths of your athletes. When brainstorming an idea for a piece of equipment, the first thing to do is identify which athlete the equipment is for. Next, make a list of all the athlete's strengths. Focusing on the athlete's strengths or the things that they can do as opposed to the things that they cannot, kickstarts the creative process by giving you a path forward. Finally, when planning a piece of equipment, increasing the independence of the athlete should be at the heart of the design. If done right, the adapted equipment should increase the autonomy of the athlete. In these videos, we'll be using PVC pipe to create our pieces of equipment. She carries PVC pipes in a hardware store. PVC pipe is inexpensive, easy to work with, and it's very durable. When working with PVC in this capacity, you need to remember three steps. Cut, connect, and cement. Using a saw, we will be cutting the PVC into the desired lengths. Next, we will connect the pieces together using PVC fittings. Finally, we will cement the joints into place. So if you're ready to get started, grab your saw, your measuring tape, and let's get to work. DIY Adapted Sports Equipment.